This is the dashboard of my Shopify store. They built over $2.3 million in eight months with zero prior experience. And just to show you that this is legit, I'm just gonna refresh the page here so you can see that it is. And I did this with no prior experience, without spending a dollar on inventory, without having a warehouse, without having any tech or web design skills. And the reason I was able to do this is because I built this business on top of an age old business model. Some of the most successful companies of all time, like Walmart and like Home Depot are built on top of. Except historically, you needed millions and millions of dollars to get started, but the internet has even the playing field. So people just like you and just like me can build multi-million dollar businesses from home with just a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection in a couple hours per day. And in this training today, I'm gonna to be breaking this down step-by-step step so you can copy and paste the exact system that I used to completely change my life. So step number one is we wanna set up a proper business. This isn't like AliExpress, low ticket drop trip where you sell junk from China. We're actually setting up a real business here. And this isn't a big ask. It's gonna cost you like one to $200 to get the business set up and it might take two or three days to get a bank account and everything sorted. It's really, really not a huge ask. And if you're serious about changing your life and changing your business, this is a no brainer. So I recommend using a site like Zen Business. All you have to do is go here and you can literally set it up here within a couple of days. So once we have a business set up, step number two is finding winning products. What we wanna do is we first wanna think of product ideas. So there's two main ways that I recommend you find product ideas. Number one is you can use a tool like ChatGPT and you can use it to brainstorm for you. Cause as you see here, I've said, I'm starting a high ticket drop shipping store in the wellness space. Space, tell me a list of 300 products that cost over $1,000 in the space. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch, 300 excellent, excellent product ideas that you can use to get started. But what I would actually recommend that I think is even better than this is just thinking of ideas in your day-to-day -day life. So what I have is on my Apple iPhone, I open the notes app and I just have product ideas over $1,000. And then as you're living your life, as soon as you see products out in public when you're living that would cost over $1,000, put them in your notes app. And over time, you'll have thousands and thousands of super unique ideas that you wouldn't have been able to just think of off the top of your Head. If you're at the gym, you might see treadmills, ellipticals, cold plunge tubs, saunas. If you're at the park, you might see benches, playground equipment, trampolines. If you're in your backyard, you might see a grill, gazebos. There's thousands and thousands of ideas that you can use. So once we have a list of ideas, there's a three-step product validation process that we need to go through to ensure that it is actually a winning product. Step number one in the validation process is ensuring the price actually is usually over $1,000. So this is very, very simple. All we have to do is we have to head to Google Shopping, and then we just want to type in buy buy the product type online. So in this case, we're doing saunas. I just got to type in here, buy sauna. And then what we want to do is we want to sort by over $1,000. Now, not every single sauna in the history of the world has to cost over $1,000. What we're checking is just generally speaking, is the product sold for over $1,000? As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them that meet this criteria that are. So number one, price over $1,000 is confirmed. The second thing we want to check is make sure the monthly search demand is over 30,000 searches per month. So I used a tool called Ahrefs. Ahrefs is paid, but there's other free alternatives where you can get a free trial like Uber Suggest, like Moe's, like SEMrush. All these will do the exact same thing and they have free trials. But as you can see here, the monthly search demand, this is the average searches over the previous 12 months. It's 95,000, which easily satisfies the criteria of 30,000 per month. So we've confirmed it's usually sold for above $1,000 and we've now confirmed the monthly search demand is over 30,000 per month. Lastly, we need to head over to Google Trends and check seasonality. So we want to put it in the country we're selling, so the US, the last five years. We just want to check that it's not super seasonal. So there are some up and downs here, so we might see some minor swings in sales, but it won't be anything extreme. Like we put in Christmas tree. This is what a very seasonal product looks like. So we wouldn't want to sell this because we'd only be making sales a couple months a year. Or something like a sauna. The demand is very, very stable. There's a little bit of ups and downs, but overall, it's good to go. So because sauna meets these three criteria, that to me shows that it's a winning product that we can have success with. So it's regularly sold for over $1,000. The demand is over 30,000 searches per month, and it's not super seasonal. So once we've found a winning product, step number two is to find winning suppliers for that product. So it's super simple. All we go is go to Google Shopping. We want to type in buy sauna online. And right away, you're going to have your first six or so brands that you can start with right here. So I want you to create a spreadsheet where you're going to have all of the sauna brands and all the sauna manufacturers in one place. So right away, add these for six. The next thing you want to do is scroll down the page until you see sellers. When you go to sellers, you want to find the sellers that have the word sauna in their name. So sauna solution, sauna place, northern saunas. And you want to make a list of all these stores and create a separate tab in your spreadsheet called competitors, put all them there. And then what you want to do is go to each of these stores one by one, go to their website and find the brands that they sell for. So if you see brands on their website, these are the brands that you want to sell for as well. So I'm on my sauna world. If I go sauna brands. I would want to put all these brands here. I would want to highlight them and put them in my spreadsheet. And I want to do this for all the sauna stores I can find. So I should have a list of 
hundreds and hundreds of sauna brands. So once you've done that, you've now picked a winning product and you found all the sauna brands are AKA suppliers for your winning product. The next step is to build a Shopify demo store. Shopify has something called themes, which are essentially templated websites that you can just fill in the blanks and you can build a website in a day or two. You can even do it within a few hours. And I have a link that you'll get a free three day trial to Shopify. So I'm going to put that link below the video right here. Make sure you click that, take advantage of that. You get three free days and then it's $1 a month for three months. So it ends up being $3 for your first 93 days on Shopify. You create your website in there. And what you want to do is create what I call a demo website. So you're going to put your homepage, you're going to have everything done, except because you don't have any suppliers yet, you're going to put fake products on there. So I want you to put like three to five fake sauna products with like pictures from Google, fake titles, fake descriptions, everything like this. And when you're building your demo store, I recommend going to some of those stores you put in your competitor sheet to get ideas. So this is my sauna world site. It's very nicely designed. You could model your homepage after theirs. You don't want to copy it, but you could use this for ideas when you're building your own homepage. And the reason we want to build the demo site now is because when we reach out to brands, they're going to be so much more likely to work with us if we already have a demo store in place. And when I gave Walmart and Home Depot as an example earlier, when you go to Walmart or Home Depot, you're not buying Walmart or Home Depot products. You're buying brands that sell their products through Walmart or Home Depot. So Walmart and Home Depot are the retailers. So we're doing the exact same thing online. We're becoming online authorized retailers for these brands and we're selling their products on our website. So when customer goes to our website and makes a purchase, we will send our customer information right to the brand and the brand will ship the product directly to the customer without us ever needing to see or touch the item. And as you can see here, if I go back, so as you can see in September of 2021, had no sales. I had like one sale that I had to return or something. So October was the first month I actually started taking this seriously. I hit 30,000. November, one month later, just the second month running the business, I hit 147,000. In December, I actually crossed over 200,000. And that is what led to me dropping out of law school like two months before graduation. As you can see here, I'm selling my average order value over $5,000. So that means I'm making thousands of dollars profit per sale. And this is the exact business model that I did to do this. So just to review, you've set up your business, you found a winning product, you found all the suppliers for that product, you've built a demo website, and now you're ready to actually reach out to the suppliers. So as I showed you here, the first easiest suppliers to find are the ones that show up under brand in Google. So just to show you an example of Sunray, we want to go to the usual Google search and type in Sunray Sauna. And now we want to find Sunray's website. So if I go down here to Sunray Saunas, we want to find something on this website that says become a dealer or become a partner. If I go to contact us, I see become a partner. So what I would recommend you do is you fill in the sheet, but then I think you should to go above and beyond, call this number, say, hey, this is XYZ. I'm the owner of XYZ store. We're doing some research and we think your products would be a great fit on our store. Can you please tell me the process for becoming an authorized retailer of your products? They'll send you some information you'll fill out, but then they'll send you their product pictures, their product information that you can then list on your own store. I recommend closing at least three brands and putting them on your store. Once you have at least three brands, you're ready to start your ads. What we want to do with our ads is very simple. As you can see here, imagine there's three people shopping for a grill. You have someone searching the term grill, someone searching the term Napoleon grill, and you have someone searching the term Napoleon 32 inch grill in black. Which one of those do you think is the best person to advertise to? Obviously it's the third one. And the reason is because person searching grill, they haven't decided what brand they want. They don't decide what model they want yet. Someone searching Napoleon grill has decided they want a grill and they've decided on the brand Napoleon, but they don't know what product they want. And this person, Napoleon 32 inch grill in black, they've decided they want a grill. They decided they want a Napoleon grill and they want it to be a 32 inch model in black. So this person is the most ready to buy. The reason we can beat stores is because most e-commerce stores do not set up optimized ads. As you can see, when I type in Napoleon 32 inch grill in black, there's a Napoleon 33 and a half inch grill. There's a Montalpi grill. This is a completely different brand. No size. Doesn't even say a gray grill, a blaze grill, like different brands. So it's not optimized. If I was selling this product, I would want to be in this spot and I would want to show the customer a 32 inch Napoleon grill that was black. And then when the person clicks this ad, not all of them are going to buy right away. So what we want to do is we want to put them in remarketing lists. So we want to show them remarketing ads on Facebook, remarketing ads on Pinterest, remarketing ads on YouTube, literally everywhere they go online. We want to follow them around until they buy. And we want to show this person the exact product they were looking for. So then once we have one winning brand, we want to add more and more winning brands to our store with these optimized ads. And once we get to five, 10 winning brands, then that's how we really get to those 100, 200, $300,000 per month. And obviously like this is just the very first thing you want to do to scale. You're going to have to do things like SEO, like email marketing so you can start to get free organic sales. We're not actually paying ads to get the customer, but that's kind of longer down the time frame. So just to review what we covered today, number one, we're going to set up a business. Number two, we're going to find a winning niche. Number three, we're going to find the top suppliers. 
customers. Number four, we're going to build our demo site. Number five, we're going to close our first three to five brands. And then we're going to run hyper optimized ads towards them. And guys, that is the exact process that I use to change my life and accomplish these absolutely insane results here. As you can see in the first three months since launching my store, I got to over $390,000 in sales. In the first eight months, cumulatively, I did over $2.3 million, which completely changed my life and allowed me to drop out of law school. Obviously, this is very beginner level stuff, but if you want to see a full workshop that's two, three hours long, where I go in depth on all this stuff and show you exactly how to do this, obviously, like things we didn't cover today is how to identify a winning supplier. So even before you reach out to them, you already know if they're going to be one that works and one that you can sell. I'll show you exactly how to do that. I'll show you how to optimize your ads so when you actually do target those terms, you show up in that one spot. Obviously, it's very complicated and I can't do it on training like this. But if you want to see that, there's a free workshop that I'm going to link below this video here where you can go watch that full, complete training. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in there and hope you enjoyed the training today. Cheers.